And now this, learning more about the home planet. NASA is marking Earth Day by reminding us about what their satellites are showing. Research going back decades. Here's Ron Trevino. Three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff. When you think of NASA, you think space. But since 1958, their satellites have been watching what's been happening to Mother Earth. The data that we collect to help us understand vegetation, help us understand storms, help us understand fires, those data that we collect about our home planet are incredibly valuable in tracking change. NASA and its partners have fleets of satellites devoted to studying our planet. Things like surface temperature, how green the vegetation is, how much water we have under the Earth's surface. Over the past five decades, so many changes. We see that the world is getting warmer. We see changes in growing season length. We see changes in ice and sea level. Scientists say humans are bringing the changes. And for us here along the Texas coast, it could mean hurricanes are even more of a concern. Many uh, scientists believe that we are going to see a trend towards more intense storms once they form. And we know that rising sea levels, which have to do with ice and, and both uh, water getting warmer and expanding that that makes landfalling hurricanes and storms more deadly and more costly. NASA has more Earth science missions this year, including one focusing on air pollution. That's going to be a game changer for air quality managers in terms of understanding and predicting episodes that can be very, very harmful to communities all across our country. Earth Day, a day to celebrate our home. But scientists also say it should be a day to reflect on the effect we have on this precious blue marble in the cosmos. Ron Trevino, KHOU 11 News.